The heart of the system is an Altronics 6062 relay control timer board running off 24 volts DC. There is an anti-flyback diode added to the relay contacts to prevent the solenoid from destroying anything on the board. The armor cable runs down to the solenoid which is located at the bottom of the unit. This is a 24 volt DC solenoid. I'm using a brass three-way valve. It's an ASCO Red Hat model number 8321A2 and it's a 10 to 200 PSI solenoid. So if you want to buy a new valve you can look online you'll find them no problem. They might be a little expensive but they're there. Otherwise just check a spec sheet make sure that the valve that you're looking at has the maximum operating pressure that you're using and that it matches the voltage that you need DC or AC. The best thing is just to look at eBay and you'll find one that works just fine for little to no money. The air supply to the solenoid is actually coming from the foot pedal. So the foot pedal provides both the air to the solenoid through this T and to the gun itself. So that the only time that there's air flowing is when you're stepping on the pedal. My cabinet had a tube inside the cabinet that was sucking up the media. So I had to put a new tube on the outside of the cabinet with a half inch 45 degree elbow coming into the cabinet so that I can made up with the gun inside. If yours doesn't have that, you'll need to do that also. As you can see here, I just welded that in place and attach the hose to it, supplying up to the gun. Creating the Venturi is pretty simple. You're going to come out of the solenoid with a 3 8 nipple. This 3 8 nipple inside of it is going to have to have a piece of steel brake line brazed into it. So you have to find the brake line that fits snugly inside of a piece of 3 8 pipe. We're going to come out of that 3 8 pipe. We're going to attach a 3 8 to half inch reducer. So here we have a 3 8 by half inch reducer fitting. It's going to go into a short half inch nipple. We're then going to add a half inch pipe tee here and we're going to attach this to the media hopper. So your hopper is here. I drilled a hole and what I actually did was I just welded this onto the bottom of the hopper. Now on this side you're going to have a half inch to uh, hose barb here. So you have a barb and that's where you're going to, you're going to attach your hose and that this is the suction this is the suction side that goes up to the gun. So it's already under negative pressure on this side. Now the trick is on this tube when you have all your fittings, your nipples and everything in place, you want to make sure this tube extends past past this opening of the T. Make sure it points into the reducer fitting a little bit, maybe it protrudes out a little bit and in, into that fitting because you want the air directed up this tube not back here. It doesn't work back here further because the air doesn't know which way to go and it's going to bubble back in your hopper. You want to be in the tube that's already negative pressure so that it creates more of a venturi here so that you have this turbulence that blasts, that blasts the media up the tube that already has negative pressure. So again recap Come out of your solenoid, 3 8 bushing, solder, braze in a piece of brake line, remove the, if you need to remove the uh, galvanizing or whatever is on your, on your brake line so that you can braze it in cleanly. Go to a, a reducer bushing from 3 8 to, in this case we're going backwards, but 3 8 to half inch, a little half inch nipple, a T that's welded to your hopper, so your media falls down, this blasts up, and this thing's going to operate uh, in impulsed mode, so every 3 to 5 seconds, wherever you set it at, um, it's going to give a little blast of air that's going to aerosolize essentially the media in, in a turbulent fashion and create a homogeneous mixture of this media and air blasting up the tube. The length of your tube is what's going to be sucked up by the gun and do the blasting work. Once the tube is evacuated, it's going to, its performance will fall back to normal. At that time, the solenoids will fire create another batch of aerosolized media that then gets sucked up by the venturi on the gun. 
So the whole thing is setting the timing of all this and how much, how long your delivery tube is, what volume of aerosolized media is, is falling into here and getting blasted up the tube. So you have to play with this a little bit and that's why I had a ball valve over here to adjust the amount of air blasting in. But you also got the size of the tube and the length of the tube. It's just half inch tube coming out and, and, and your half inch opening for your media to fall down into. So those are the settings you have to play with, but essentially that's all there is to building the, uh, the injector, I call it, or the Venturi injector.